Hi loves and welcome to Candid Soul Tarot. Some of you that may be watching this video, you may know who I am because I do have an additional YouTube channel where I post advice and discussion oriented videos. Definitely feel free to check out that channel, subscribe to that channel um, as you wait for me to upload because it has been a couple of months since I've posted a video up there. I'm just trying to figure out how to revamp that page um, to where I can keep it interesting but not be torn down for wanting to have that freedom of speech to kind of talk about the things that I feel are important and taboo topics that a lot of people aren't able to openly discuss with their friends and family just because it's just not a comfortable thing for them. They don't feel like they have that non-judgmental space. So that is definitely what that channel is about. Definitely feel free to check it out. But Candid Soul Tarot is exactly that. I'm going to give you my honest, intuitive interpretation of my tarot cards. If you're unfamiliar with tarot, I would suggest that you stop this video now and do a little bit of reading, maybe watch a couple more YouTube videos. I won't really go in depth because until this page is verified, I only have a limited time frame to work with, namely 15 minutes, and I want to spend majority of that really um, getting into the energies of tomorrow, March 30th. So I'm going to do a quick little spread for you guys and kind of let you know what you can be aware of going into tomorrow, what to look out for, um, and just anything that needs to reach anybody at this time. So welcome yet again. Um, trying something a little different with my makeup, I'm trying to go a little bit darker. Ooh, thank you, spirit. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like my lip liner is definitely there. It's live and in charge. I was looking for one of my, um, what is it called? It's like a liquid to matte finish liquid lipstick, but I have misplaced it at this time. Um, it definitely blends well with my lip liner. But I think I like it. Mm -hmm. One thing I haven't been bold enough to try is like a black lip. I've had the gray. I haven't done the blue. But definitely black. I'll do a six card spread. But um, yeah, so. Ooh, thank you spirit. A lot of cards are trying to jump out. Ooh, okay. It wanted to flip. It really wanted to flip, so. Okay, bottom of the deck, King of Swords. That's the one thing I'm going to have a hard time with is making sure my camera focuses. Some good energy here. So, first card that came out was the Seven of Swords, and I use the Mythic Tarot deck right now. So, um, all the pictorial images are based on Greek mythology the figures in them. Um, I've committed to memory most of them, but some names I forget. However, that's not as important as the messages. The first card is the Seven of Swords. That is a card of, as many know, self-sabotage. Um, this can be a very ambivalent card, like you never know what's coming next. It can be negative or positive, depending on the cards that follow, depending on just individual differences altogether. Um, but this can be like in a certain situation, especially if you're talking about business, where you need to have a little bit more tact and diplomacy, um, maybe needing to be just a little bit underhanded in order to accomplish a certain goal, right? Um, maybe needing to change up your approach in the way that you express yourself. I'm namely saying expression because the second card to come up is the Knight of Cups and cups especially if you're familiar with tarot has to do with like emotion um so maybe needing to change your approach in the way that you express your emotions in the way that you express um the way in which you want to achieve a goal maybe that is work oriented or not or maybe needing to um dig a little deeper just going as far as swords and swords is um, connected to intellect, um, having that that mental energy, right? So maybe needing to dig a little deeper into one spirituality, um, into the messages that maybe you receive from spirit if you're into divination, maybe going into further study about that, um, digging into the depths of your intuition, into your psyche 
further understanding who you are as a person so that you may understand others right um and needing to look at those that are in your surroundings right because the four of cups is the fourth card it came underneath the seven of swords um seeing how they influence your thoughts those people that are around you there are a lot of friends that proclaim to be your friend but if you notice that you've kind of been telling them things that you want to accomplish from a, a work standpoint an emotional standpoint uh, from a spiritual standpoint and they're not backing you they're not giving you um any resources any resources for you to further your development in those areas and for you to have success in those areas and those aren't the people that you need to be confiding in you will come up feeling empty um this is a very empty feeling card right um this may also mean that you are going to come to a point of um i don't know if contention is the word but where you're looking at things of the past um and past upsets right looking at past patterns and um, in certain circumstances that just were not emotionally fulfilling for you and really laying that to rest because the Empress card does come up and if you know anything about um, Demeter the Greek goddess I don't know if she was necessarily a goddess but in Greek mythology she was the mother who lost her daughter Persephone to the underworld which is funny because that is the high priestess card that came up um she lost her daughter to the underworld and she, the um I wanted to say the empress Demeter she was the woman that was full of abundance she dealt with harvesting crops like what you sow is what is reaped with the empress card essentially right with Demeter um, however when she lost her daughter Persephone to the underworld to Hades because she she took a bite out of the pomegranate her daughter in this case right that is why we now have seasons according to Greek mythology so she went into like a depressed state so during the winter months is when Persephone is with Hades you know in the underworld and that is when um you see like lack as far as like crops and as far as like the leaves falling off of trees it's just very barren land so maybe looking at those things in the past right that just were not emotionally abundant for you and then coming up with a new approach and moving forward with that because the outcome card is the knight of swords clarified with the ace of cups right if we're purely going off of romance i want to say you're coming into a period you or somebody that you may be dealing with where they are no longer going to be hiding their feelings um where what is that word that i'm thinking of where you don't come across as being unapproachable or that person comes across as being unapproachable or where maybe they come across as being disinterested or maybe that has been you in the situation because you're kind of just trying to um, get your feet wet in a sense and trying to understand the person that you may have a romantic interest in. But this is you or somebody that you may be involved with. They're no longer coming across as disinterested or hiding their feelings, but in fact, moving forward with expressing what their truth is. Um, and with the high priestess, I would say whatever has been hidden comes to light, whatever has been repressed um, is exposed in that sort of sense from an emotional standpoint and maybe you guys have a conversation about past relationships right or about things that have gotten in the way of your emotional um, satisfaction your emotional happiness um, people that may have been gossiping trying to keep you away from each other because the four of cups is very much about um, people spreading rumors um, about you or your person trying to like kind of scare you out of having a connection right this can also be being too emotionally invested or seeing too much into it or being too offended um yourself and kind of needing to get out of that energy right i don't want to say that this means you don't feel worthy of love but there can be This can be like a card of hesitation, right? So you need to get out of um, that 
that feeling of oh is it worth it should I take this chance or should I not and stop necessarily relying too much on the opinion of other people and lean more on one's own intuition um, when it comes to what you're trying to move forward with if this is a love reading and since there's so many cups it's kind of leaning more towards that um, but understanding you know that you are worthy that you are abundant that you have a lot that you can bring to the table understand that whatever seeds have been sown in the past um even if those past relationships didn't work out they were all for your greater good and they're kind of setting you up for your future like that down period the winter months right the um barrenness that feeling of emptiness and that feeling of lack um it's all coming full circle and you will be feeling more abundant you are going to be stepping into a love that um overfloweth because you see the water in the background i really hope when i upload this video you guys can kind of see how good these cards are um i just love the illustrations but um yeah everything is coming in everything that you've been trying to manifest is coming in especially in this relationship knight of swords can mean being swept off one's feet um and you kind of see that with the horse if you can see it um and this is kind of really taking another step forward as far as getting a relationship off of the ground um ascending to a higher level in a relationship right so that's kind of some of the energies that you can be looking forward to for um i'm doing this daily reading for the 30th which is tomorrow or today by the time that you guys see this right what is time um but understand that energy is fluid so it can happen tomorrow it can happen within a week from tomorrow maybe even a month from tomorrow i wouldn't really know if i would stretch it that far but since ace is one it can be one week one month i wouldn't say a year i feel like that's kind of stretching it it's not intuitively what i feel but um it may just come a little later than expected but just know that it is on the way um so that's what i have for you guys work looks good just any situation that this could apply to you know take it as it resonates for the situation that you're going through right now um you are going to be respected you are going to be making good decisions going forth with maybe opinions that you have of other people maybe on a career path that you're deciding to take you're finally going to take that leap of faith um even though the full card's not here it's just with the swords and this ace of cups i, I want to say that there is a leap of faith um a movement forward a progression of sorts towards the things that you so desire that your heart desires um so that doesn't even have to be from an emotional standpoint it can be with work or it can be with health that just improves all around the way in which you you think about yourself like that negative self-talk a lot of us um we we all do that but some people get stuck in that so there could be a coming out of that negative self-talk and having that understanding and that compassion for oneself um and reflecting on kind of what put you there and then getting yourself out of that position for once and for all so that is really what i'm picking up on with these cards i hope it resonates with you guys if not there's a plethora of other tarot readers that i'm sure you will connect more with so if you like this video definitely give it a thumbs up do subscribe for more of these videos you guys get me verified so i can spend more time with you guys and reading these cards um and as i continue to do these daily readings i'm sure at some point i may hop on a live and be able to interact more one-on-one -on -one with a lot of you guys energetically well in some sense because i can only respond to comments right as far as uploading this video goes but definitely subscribe and share this with your friends and family and i will talk to you guys in the next video peace <laughs>